Microsoft Excel new functions group by and pivot by will most likely replace pivot table. Just by typing a function, you will easily pivot your data in no time. In this video, I will cover how each of these functions work and what they can do. The first function is group by. It allows you to do data aggregation just by using a simple formula, which means no more summit. It's not complicated. It just needs three arguments, just like a next lookup. And the first argument is what to group. The second is the values and the third argument is the function you like to use for aggregation such as sum, average or count or many more. In this example, we aggregated the cells by categories. Okay, this is where it gets really exciting. This is the pivot table killer. It is essentially the same as group by but it lets you add columns as well. Think about this straight up as a line of very easy code to create a pivot table in seconds. First argument is the row, and then the second is the columns, then the third are the values. Then you select your aggregation functions, such as max or average, just like the group by function. Okay, okay, we received a bonus gift from Microsoft, a brand new function, which is percent off. As I said earlier, with group by or pivot by, you can decide the function you'd like to use for aggregation. Microsoft added the percent of in there, which allows you to return the percentages. On top of that, we are getting the function signatures, which means that Microsoft added additional arguments to pivot by and group by functions. Think about them like the XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP match mode. So in seconds, you will be able to filter your data and make sure you sort it by the largest to smallest data or vice versa. You can learn more new Excel functions in the video right here.